Hello everyone and welcome back to another processing video. This time I'll be showing off a program that I wrote. It's only 31 lines long so it shouldn't be too complicated. And instead of just telling you what it does I'll just show you. Um, so here you go. Yeah so basically it switches between two colors alternating and um, it does so in a kind of smooth fashion with all the gradients in between so basically here is how you can accomplish that using relatively simple code so here uh, I'll just go through line by line I have two arrays here of floats so the first one is called S, the second one is called E. So S means start and E means end. So that's what they stand for. So as you can tell, S will be the starting color, E will be the ending color. So um, instead of doing the color variables, so like instead of making them into um, color and then like 0, 0, 0 for example, I just make them into regular old arrays because um, color variables aren't very malleable so I prefer to just do it this way. Um, yeah, using color variables would be um, kind of inefficient I would say. And I don't see how that would even be possible so I'll just try not to think about that. Um, so beginning color is black, ending color is white. And of course you can set these to any color you like, just change the values. Like for example, you can go from black to white, or I mean white to black. You just have to change the order. And now it goes from white to black, but I mean the effect's still kind of the same. Uh, so that's about it for this section. Now we move on to this, um, the most important variable I would say in this whole program. It is the two dimensional array of floats, CTS, which stands for color to show. So CTS is basically a variable that holds 60 different colors and our draw function will go through each of these while it's like switching between the two. Um, so here's how it's created. Basically at the start of the program we generate all 60 colors and we store them. Then in the draw function we just go ahead and uh, use them one by one. So in setup I set the size of the background which is 800 by 600 or I don't think it's called a background I think it's called like the frame or something but it's not a big deal um, CTS we set that equal to a new float so it's two dimensional so there's 60 arrays that hold three elements yeah we use a for loop this one the first one on the outside um, it goes from 0 to 2 so this is because I wanted to go through the RGB one by one so I would do R first G second B third so we go like RGB for each of them we get like from a range of 255 to 0 and then we go to green which is 255 to 0 and then blue which is 255 to 0 so it would go like um, fraction by fraction alright so here's how we accomplish that first you create the starting color you set it to another variable so I store the starting red green and blue colors to C and C is renewed for every iteration of this outside for loop. And then in this nested for loop, 
we have this other variable is j, so there's 60, and so you can probably see that we're going to use j in order to make 60 slices in between the um, starting and ending colors. So step one is we set um, this whatever index we're on of CTS equal to C, which again is going to be like some number from 0 to 255. And then we change C by EI minus SI divided by 60. So this basically allows us to get the difference between the two, which would be 255. And then we split that by 60 each time we go through this loop. We just go ahead and add those numbers into our CTS. And so this runs three, three times, and then that'll give us all our colors. Now, next step is using the draw function correctly. So basically, we have int i and an int flag. So i will be a number from 0 to 59, so that we can um, change one color for every frame. So then flag will be used to change direction between the two colors. So if flag is 0, then we're going to add 1 to our i. And then if flag is 1, which means that we've reached the second color, which would be e, we're going to do i minus minus. So we're going to go back down to the first color. Um, all right. Of course, and the first thing that you want to put inside of draw would be setting this uh, background. So you can place this at the front or the end. It doesn't really change the overall effect. Just um, one color is going to be missing. Like it's either going to be the first color. So either S or E will be missing. That's basically uh, what this the placement of this background determines. I haven't thought out like exactly which color is going to be missing, but um, you can think about that yourself. It's not too important. And then if I equals zero, we're going to set flag equal to zero, which means we're going to go from the start to the end. And then if i equals 59, flag equals 1, so we're going to go from uh, e to s, like so. And you can see how they match up. Now if you run the whole program, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of exactly what is going on. And that's it for this program. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something new. And see you guys next time.